is that you want to make sure that when you are uh, clicking on that chat, that drop down, you can either say hello to all panelists or all panelists and attendees. So if you want your chat to be made public, if you want to be able to comment with fellow attendees and share thoughts or experiences or say, yeah, that's so cool, or oh, I didn't know I could do that, then you want to make sure you have that drop down to all panelists and attendees. Now, the other box that I want to make you aware of is the Q&A box, because as you can see by the speed with which that chat rolls through, important questions can get lost really, really easily in there. So we want to make sure that you get your questions answered. Um, the wonderful team that I have helping us out today are going to answer some of those questions throughout the webinar, but then we'll take time for questions at the end. So that Q&A box, you want to use that for questions pertaining to the content that you want to get answered by one of our professionals. And that chat window is just for friendly interaction to let us know what you think about the content. All right. Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Hey, Alicia. How are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. Happy to be here again. Yeah, me too. I was thinking about it this morning. I was like, we always tell people that these are like our favorite things to do every month. And I was like, this is proof. I'm literally on vacation with my family and I still wanted to show up for this. So. <laughs> and we appreciate you being here. Well, I'm excited. It's, it's really fun. And this is a really, really cool, important thing that we're going to be talking about this morning. So I'm excited to tell you guys all about a feature here with Bomb Mom that maybe you don't know about, but also just talk about kind of the importance in general of CTAs. So yep. we might say the term CTA a lot. And I just realized not everybody's going to probably know what a CTA is. I get that question all the time. So just for your reference, as we keep talking through this, a CTA is a call to action. Now we'll dive deeper into that, but I just want you to understand, oh, that's exactly what a CTA is. And that's what the reference is there. So that's what we're going to cover. Our agenda for today, the first step here is what is a CTA? And we're going to kind of talk through the logistics of that and some of the details of what can create a CTA as well. The second piece here is building a video CTA. So building a video CTA within BombBomb. This is something that's uniquely BombBomb that's really, really cool. Um, you're not gonna do this on just a standard email because you may or may not have a video in there, but we now give you the ability to actually add a CTA onto the video itself. So people, as they're watching the video, can't miss that link. They'll see it right there. So Alicia's gonna walk us through exactly how to build that. And then you can see there, the last piece that we're gonna talk about is examples and strategies. We are gonna actually talk through and show you some real life examples of how BombBomb employees are using CTAs in their videos to win. And we're gonna show you across the board, whether it's on the sales team, whether it's on our customer success team, we're gonna show you some different strategies and different ways to use it just to get your ideas flowing and kind of get that energy going in the right direction there. So um, first and foremost, before we jump into all of that, I do wanna do a quick reminder here about our deep dive emails. I know we talk about this a lot and have over the last couple of months, but we wanna just start building this muscle for you guys. Uh, one of our big focuses this year for anybody that's new is to have consistency through all of our different avenues. And so every month at the beginning of the month, you receive what we call our deep dive email. The great part is this deep dive email has the exact same theme as this webinar that you are on right now. So our deep dive email actually this month was all from our president, Darren Dawson, and he did a great video all about using CTAs and some different things to focus on with CTAs. Then you can come to this webinar and we dive in even deeper into CTAs and those sort of things. So just know that. If you're ever looking for deeper content, those sort of things, keep your eyes open for that deep dive email at the beginning of the month. And then when you hop onto this webinar here, you'll already feel like you've got kind of a step ahead of right. maybe everybody else here. So <laughs> just a quick reminder there, a quick push for that email that comes out. Uh, well, and, it's really great. You know, we'd love to hear from you guys. You know, tell us in the chat, have you been, have you found value from these, from the double training here? Because that's really what we're trying to focus on. We want to make sure that you have the resources to really, really be successful with video and with BombBomb. Um, Kevin, do you think this is a good time to launch our poll and see who's actually using our CTAs? I literally just pulled that up, so that's perfect. Yeah, let's go ahead and launch it right now. So the kind of question for today for you guys, and I'll let this run for about 30, 45 seconds, is um, have you used the BombBomb video CTA functionality? So you can see there's kind of the whole gamut of I've used them a lot, love them, they're great. I've done it once or twice and it was pretty easy to use. I have not tried them yet, which is 
I'll give you a hint, is already a vast majority of these. So that's perfect. You guys are in the exact right spot. Then we've also got what's a CTA and what's bomb bomb. I always just throw what's bomb bomb in there just for fun, just to kind of have a little bit of fun on it. But we've already got 65% of the vote. So I'll let this go for another five, 10 seconds here, just to kind of let the last couple of people chime in. But you guys are awesome. Thank you for participating in this. And I'll actually show you guys all the results as well. So we are almost at 75%. Let's just go ahead and end it here. And I will show you guys exactly what it was. So Woo. I wasn't lying when I said overwhelming results is I have yeah. not tried them yet. So this is great. I mean, that's exactly why we do these webinars, right? For those of you that have used them, maybe a lot or a little bit, hopefully we'll give you some new ideas as well. This is going to yeah. be valuable for you too. But we want you to know that if you have no knowledge of the CTAs whatsoever, we're going to walk you through that and you will not feel um, lost in any stretch there. So Alicia, why don't we dive a little bit into what actually a CTA is? Yeah. So essentially this is a phrase or wording or whatever it is to tell the recipient of that message what you want them to do next, right? Uh, I always, I like to preface this and say, listen, your consumers aren't idiots, right? Your consumers are just like you are and like I are, like I am, we're not idiots. However, we have so much information thrown at us at a regular basis and the world is so fast paced. So the CTA is really telling them what the next step that you want them to take is. And as the professional that's sending this message, whether you're an agent or whether you're a customer sales rep or whether you are a sales professional, you're leading this conversation. So you're really using this to tell them what it is to get them to the next place that they want to be. I think now, what's so great about CTAs too is that, um, I skipped ahead by a second there, but one of the great things about CTAs in my opinion is that people want, they want to know what you want them to do, yes. right? We don't want yes. to be confused by emails. We don't want to finish getting an email from somebody and go, what am I supposed to do next? No, we want that clarity. Yes. We want to understand that a little bit more. Um, so I think that's a good thing to think about too, from the recipient's point of view, yes. these CTAs are really helpful as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just a selfish thing from us, the sender of going, I want them to do this. It's like, it's re it feels like a relief to me as a recipient to go, yes. oh, now I get what they want me to do. In fact, I don't remember the specific number because I have it in another slide deck, but um, there is a a large percentage of consumers that are when polled have said that one of their frustrations with sales professionals is they never know what's supposed to happen next. Like, am I supposed to be doing something or are they sending me information? So this is just a really great way for you to be clear, very, very clear about what's happening next. Mm -hmm. Well, and that kind of goes even a little bit deeper, right? So we kind of talked about what a CTA is directly, but what really is the purpose of a CTA? And I thought it was good to kind of put a distinction between that because the purpose of a CTA, this is something I actually learned researching this as well, is to not only tell someone what they should do, but give them the motivation to do so. And I think that second level piece there is really important, right? Yeah. It's not just to say, okay, here's what I want you to do. Yep. It's to tell them what is the value there? Why is this helpful for you, right? What is the reason you're going to click on this link or you're going to follow through and reply to this email or you're going to call me? What are we providing there? If we don't provide that, it doesn't matter how clear the link is, they're not going to want to do it. We always have to remember that we have to provide that value as well. Well, and what I love about a video CTA, obviously, I work at Bob, Bob <laughs> but the, you get to be persuasive in your video, right? You get to you get to get them excited about the purpose of that CTA in your video. You get to use emotion and personality and eye contact to get them excited about the purpose of taking that next step, which is such a win. The difference between seeing text telling you to do something and then the person setting that up is huge. It's why we're all here. It's why we have 662 people that showed up today to learn about video CTAs because we know video works. Well, and it's so interesting. I mean, there's a lot of psychological studies too on, on what motivates people to use somebody for business, right? Mm -hmm. and, and there's been a couple different things, but I've heard it narrowed down to two different sections. And one is the expertise, right? Is like the facts and the information and the knowledge. But the other part of it is the perception, right? Is the, who is this person? Do I like them? Are they warm? 
or, you know, is it somebody that I can work with? Of course, the video actually helps bring that across too. So we talk about video enough. You guys get the mind of that. We, we don't need to beat a dead horse on that one. But um, let's talk through some best practices when it comes to CTAs, because I think this is something when I started here with Bomb Bomb four years ago, I was not good at this. I had no idea what the best practices were, how to formulate this in a way that made sense to an actual person to get the responses that I wanted. So first and foremost, start with an action verb. Now, if you're like me and terrible at grammar, I read that and was like, wait, what? What does that mean? Okay, so basically it's, it's what do you want them to do? What action can they take, right? So I put some examples there. Click, find, fill, order, shop. It's an actual thing that they can do. It's a great word to start your CTAs with because it's something actionable that they can do, right? They can move on this. Now, it really depends. And I, I put a lot of different examples there because I know you guys are in a lot of different industries doing a lot of different things. If you own your own store, right? Shop online here, click on this button, right? Those sort of things. Click to find our new inventory. All of that are different ways that you can use basically the same action, but use different verbiage on it to get people to interact in that way. So make sure you include that action verb. It's a really important piece of this. And that's true with not just a button to click as well, right? email me, call me, text yeah. me, whatever you're wanting them to do. Those are all actionable things for them to do as well. Yep. So number two here, as far as best practices is, is evoke emotion, right? Don't just be boring with these. I think this is something I learned as I was doing more and more research is it's really easy to just be like, click here, you know, but that doesn't make me excited to do any of that versus like click here to see what's new or something like that. Like, oh, okay. I might be able to do that. Um, there's, there's different ways where you can actually add little emotional pieces into these. And we're actually going to show you some examples next. So you'll get some other ideas of these as well, but just remember to make it exciting and add that emotion in there too. Well, and you can have fun with that part too, right? Like, you know, if you're trying to get someone to schedule a meeting with you, why not have fun with it and put, you know, schedule the, the best, you know, demo of your life or whatever <laughs> it is. It's okay to have fun with it because again, you are trying to evoke that emotional response. You want people to feel connected to you and, and having some fun with it is a great way to do that. Totally. Now, one thing that's really important to think about, and we talk about this with emails and videos in general, yes. always think about the client. Think yes. about the recipient yep. of this email. What's in it for them? And we kind of talked about that and teased about that with the purpose of a CTA, of making sure that we're always providing that value and those sort of things. But I don't think we can stress this enough or remind this enough. Yeah. It's so easy to get locked in, especially when, Alicia, I know you probably feel this way when we were in sales doing that. You're sending email after email after email. You're doing this. You're trying to hit your numbers. You've got so many focuses that are self-focused that it's yeah. really easy to remember, oh, I need this person to sign up. I need this person to sign up versus why do they need this product? Yeah. Why do they need my services, right? Yep. Well, and when you position when you position yourself with a focus on the customer value on the front end, it, it changes the, the perception of the whole conversation. Your, mm -hmm. your recipients of that email understand, they can sense whether there's a focus on value or whether you're just trying to get something from them. It's why people are hesitant to fill out their email addresses in forms, right? If they're okay. actually getting value from it, they're gonna do it. If they think you're just trying to get their info, it's a different conversation. And I think this is even more important now than it has ever been. In my opinion, mm -hmm. getting sales emails right now with COVID and quarantine and all the social issues, just everything going on in the world, feels like really, do you have no idea what everybody's feeling right now? Or are you just completely yeah. unaware versus somebody who's actually paying attention and is in it to help me? I am more than willing to see that email or hear that call because yeah. they're thinking of me versus just, oh, they just need to make a buck, right? I think that's so important right now. Yeah. Not that it's always not important, but. I, I love this. I just saw in chat and I don't know if Tracy got this from our trainings or if she got this from somewhere else, but it's nice to hear someone implementing things we talk about because she said she always asks the what's in it for them question before even recording her video, which I love focusing on value at the front end. Yep. That's great. Love that, Tracy. Um, number four here for best practices is be aware of where they're opening. And what I mean by that is how are we sending them this? This is going to be really pertinent for the video CTAs, especially. 
because with Mbombomb, you can send videos in so many different ways, right? With social media or text messages or emails or on your website or things like that. Be aware of that because that's going to affect the verbiage that you put on this CTA, right? You're not going to want to put the same thing if they're looking at this on Facebook that you might put if it's in an email or something like that. So just be aware of that. Be conscious of how you're planning on sending out this video, where your recipient's actually going to be opening and reading this content. It's really important to make sure that this is effective, right? And those sort of things. Yeah. Um, create a sense of urgency. I love this because it's just a little bit fun, right? You could actually make it, you don't want them to come back and click on this CTA in three weeks. Well, I guess maybe you do. It depends on the situation. But most of the time, we send emails when we're wanting something back now. And I don't want you guys to always think of this. This doesn't always have to be sales, right? Click here to buy, click here to shop now. It doesn't. If you're in real estate, we have a lot of real estate users, right? You need people to read over a contract. You need people, you have, I used to be a realtor here in Colorado. And I think at the time there was 28 deadlines in the contract, 28 things that I had to accomplish on certain times. That's urgent, right? I need to make sure that we're doing the inspection. We're getting the inspection objections. We're getting all of those pieces. So make sure that that urgency is felt in the CTA as well so that they can make sure to follow through in the time that you need them to. You yeah. can't get upset with somebody for not doing it in the right amount of time if you don't tell them when you need it by, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's really important to build those right expectations. So let's go over some examples here. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys all of these so you can read through them. I'm not going to try to build too much anticipation or anything, but I wanted to go through and just find just a bunch of different ideas. And I'll give you kind of a teaser. These are all call to actions that I found from outside companies. I'm not mentioning any of them, but I want you to know these are live things that people are using. I didn't just sit down and write all of these, right? So join the team. If you're recruiting, you know, give monthly for our nonprofit users out there, right? That's a great way to build that expectation. Let them know what you're wanting from them learn more, shop now, sign up now, get the details, right? These are all pretty straightforward. I personally would like to have a little bit more fun with them if I were writing these, sure. but I want you to know, I don't want you to lose so much time trying to think of what's the perfect thing to write down that you don't build it, right? We, we talk about this all the time of don't let the perfect get in the way of the good. I yeah, actually just heard it. I heard it verbalized that way from a book that I was reading the other day and I was like, oh, that's so awesome. We talk about that with videos. We talk about that with emails. It's so true with CTAs as well. Yep. Don't stress that my verbiage has to be perfect and I have to hit all these bullet points Kevin just said. No, just make sure that it's really clear and that people understand exactly what you're wanting. So mm -hmm. um, anything you have to add there on those kind of examples that we just popped no, up? No, I those? think, you know, I think the, again, like you said, the important thing to make sure is that you're just being clear, right? That you're being really clear about what that next step is and that you are, you know, focusing on what they are going to get from it. And like he said, it doesn't always have to be sales, you know, using a video CTA, which I'm about to show you exactly how you do that. But using a video CTA is a great way to um, maybe provide an article, a link to an article, or um, if you have a PDF document, right, you can load that PDF into your BombBomb account and then have it web hosted on a link so that you can just use that link to send them the entire document and that CTA is right there. So, you know, there's so many things that you could do with it. The real win here, um, which you're going to see is how easy it is to put it right onto your video. Mm -hmm. Well, let's jump into that, Alicia. Yeah. Oh, there's one other one that I didn't show you schedule time here, but I'm going to go ahead and stop share and let you take over. So you can walk us through the exact steps of what it takes to actually build a video CTA within bomb bomb. Yeah. All right, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this from my Chrome extension, especially because we covered Chrome extension uh, last week. So you can't see me on video right now because I'm about to launch my recorder. So up here in my Chrome extension, I just clicked on it. I'm going to click launch recorder and you're going to see me on the screen. Any second now, there we go. So I'm going to press my record button. I'm going to record a video just like I normally would as always. And now this is where I would be doing my videos. So uh, for the purpose of this example, I'm going to use my calendar link. So in this video would be a great opportunity to say that at the bottom of this video is a link to schedule some time on my calendar. All you have to do is just click that and then find a time that works for you. So now I'm done recording my video. I've pressed stopped. And now I have this 
banner at the bottom that says add a call to action banner. So when I click on that, it's going to give me an option for banner title. And I'm going to use schedule some time to connect. And then right here, this is where you put your link. So you can link a call to action on your video to any web-based link. So I'm going to use my Calendly link right here. I'm going to copy my link. I already had that pulled up. I'm going to come back to my video here and put that in and save my CTA. And now right at the bottom of my video, you can see it says schedule some time to connect. That's it, right? As easy as can be. And then once I save my video, um, it'll give me the normal options that I would have for my Chrome extension. I could either copy it for email and paste that entire video right into Apple Mail or Outlook. I could copy the link and put that video into LinkedIn or Facebook Messenger. Or then if I wanted to send it through Bomb, Bomb I could do that right there. That's it. It's really, really easy. I'm going to walk you through it one more time so that you guys can see it again, okay? So I'm going to open up my Chrome extension. And again, you can do this from anywhere that you can record a video, whether it's inside of your Bomb, Bomb uh, inside of your Gmail or your Chrome extension here. Those are all places where you can add the video CTA, okay? So I launch my recorder. I press my record button. Now it's recording my video. I say what I want to say. Remember, use the video to get them excited about what happens in that CTA. When I'm all done recording my video, I just come here, add my banner title. Again, schedule. I hate typing live. I always mess up <laughs> typing when I'm typing live. <laughs> I'm going to get my banner link. <laughs> and I'm going to put it right back here. Again, save my CTA. And now it's there. That's it. Yeah, it's so easy. I think that's what I love about this process. And I've been seeing a lot of stuff in chat going, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I love it. A couple of best practices I've learned from actually using this. Well, yeah, what were you going to say, Lucia? So I want to I want to touch on some things that I've been seeing in chat before before yeah. we go there to best practices. So a couple of okay. things, okay? Um, as it is right now, you cannot add a CTA to an already recorded video, except, and this is going to be really really exciting for some of you, and some of you are going to be frustrated that you don't have the option to do this yet. But on Android mobile right now okay so if you are using an android and you're using the bomb bomb mobile app you can add a cta to a video that has already been recorded from your library okay now this is not available for iphones yet we will <laughs> i just saw someone in the chat wait there are people of android yeah i just saw it too thought. It's not available on iPhone yet because there's only so many hours in the day that our developers can build things, okay? So down the road, this is something that we hope to be available in iPhone as well as in your video library. But currently, you can only attach a call to action to a video when you record it in real time unless you have an Android and you're using the mobile app, okay? I'm it's loving so, the chats. The chat is so great. I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, but it's kind of fun. Listen, even inside the Bomb Bomb office, there is a very big and playfully contentious vibe between iPhone and Android users. So, of course, yep. it would show up in our chat. Yeah, of course. Well, and that's great, Alicia. I'm glad you addressed on that. That was actually one of the few things I was going to touch on because I had seen that question come up. The other thing that I always like to remind people when you're creating a CTA, a video CTA within BombBomb is copy and paste the link. Don't try to type the link in the little CTA link section. I know that sounds like, well, why would I type it? Because it's huge. Most of the time you wouldn't. But we, we always want to make sure there are things behind that link when you copy and paste it that we don't even know are there sometimes. Yeah. So you want to make sure if you copy and paste, it, it's going to pull all the HTTP colon backslash backslash. Without those pieces, the link won't work. Yeah. So that's just a general rule of thumb. If you're bringing a link in for the CTA, copy it from its original location, paste it into the video itself. 
it'll just save you a lot of, of headaches, a lot of people with, with yep. links that are not working correctly. Yep. So Absolutely. just a good best practice there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and jump into, thank you for walking us through that, Alicia. That was awesome. Um, let's t walk through some examples here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again and see if I can get this working for us. So one of the things you guys will see is, are you seeing my video CTAs page okay, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a little disjointed just because we're doing it a little bit different than normal. The way that the video CTAs are built into the actual video themselves I can't download them and add them to my PowerPoint. So we're just going to show you live with the live links and those sort of things. Um, here's what we've kind of already covered. We're going to dive into the examples and strategies there. So let's start talking about these specific examples that BombBomb is using these video CTAs for. So Alicia already kind of went over this with scheduling a time, right? Putting a calendar link into a video. That's exactly what she just walked through. But I want to show you Alex Tanell here. He's one of our account execs, execs on the sales side of how he's using that really he uses it because it makes life really easy for him. It gives them a link where they cannot miss it. I think that's what I love about these more than anything is they cannot say, I didn't see this link, right? It's right there when they're watching the video. It comes on, I think two or three seconds after the video starts. So there's no way that they can miss, about, miss it. And then what's great about it, and this kind of flows into another best practice as well, is you can build the value for that meeting or the value for that link in the video, like Alicia said. One of the things that I've seen a lot of people do is actually point down to it in their video. Yeah. Hey, click the link here at the bottom of the video. Um, that'll take you straight to my calendar where you can get going on that. So just a couple of things. Let me go ahead and switch over here and I'll show you Alex's video specifically. And I love that he's actually using the whiteboard as well. So let's go ahead and watch this and see how that CTA shows up on the video. Hello, Alex Tanell here with Bomb Bomb. Reaching out to put a quick face to the name. The reason for my quick video today is I saw on your site how much of an emphasis you do put on relationships. Well, here at Bomb Bomb, we believe that if you believe in relationships, we're going to be a good fit for each other. If you're intrigued by this message at all, click the link right down below, schedule 15 minutes with me, and we can decide hey, is video going to be a good fit for your processes? Can't wait to meet you. Talk to you soon. Great video, man. He even used the curiosity piece, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I'm reaching out to you because I see that you believe in relationships. So if, if you believe in relationships, we believe in relationships. This is a good fit. Oh, so good. Well, and it's personalized. I love that about his video too. He's obviously using the CTA. He points at it. He uses the personalization, but I love that he addresses, Hey, I spent time looking into you. This is a video just for you. Right? That's how we're thinking of the client first. Yeah. We're thinking about them. We're showing them that we've invested time in them. That's why it's worth scheduling some time. This is not just a video I'm blasting out to thousands and thousands of people. Right? Love so it. I love that example. Alex does an awesome job with that. The second example I want to show you guys here, this is Elia. She's actually on our, our client success side. She's one of our client success managers. So she works with a lot of our big teams in managing in educating in maintaining and doing that sort of stuff. And that's exactly what she's doing in this video with this CTA. And she's actually providing a link to help educate. And so what I love about this is all of this information not only helps you, right? Because you don't have to regurgitate an entire article's worth of information in one video. It helps them because now they have a reference article that's been prepared that they can learn everything they need to know about this topic. It's also going to save you a heck of a lot of time and it gets them accurate information. I don't yeah. know if you guys are like us, but things change, right? Things change drastically in the tech world on a daily basis. So sometimes I will mention something that unfortunately is no longer true, right? I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that they're getting up to date information, correct information. So let's take a look at this and then you'll see actually how her link works as well. Hey, Angela, I just wanted to thank you so much for the question that you asked in today's webinar about how to use calls to action inside of your video. So here I am using our call to action feature to put the link to our support article that covers those right inside of this video for you. So just click that link, reply to this email if you have any questions, or of course, you already have my cell phone number. So give me a call if you need anything, Angela. Hope you're doing well. Looking forward to helping you out again soon. Short and sweet, right? Simple. Well, and yeah. Especially, you know, I started in support, right? Long time ago. It feels like a million years. It was only five and a half years ago, <laughs> but in bomb bomb years, it's like dog years, right? Yeah, so right. But I think about like as a as a service rep, right? When people are are coming to you for help on a regular basis, 
the difference between sending an article, just sending an article and being like, you know, here you can find the answer to your questions versus getting that video saying, hey, you know, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, we've actually had a lot of questions about this. I've included the support article to answer your question right here on this video. So you can just click that and it'll walk you through all the steps to resolve your problem, right? It's such, it's so fast and easy for them to do that. It's not even taking them any more time than it would for them to normally just send a support article. But now they're getting that benefit of the human communication and the article linked right to the video. And Love it's it. clean, right? You're making it so easy for them. And I clicked on that link just so you guys could see where it took me. So it looked, it took me straight to that article that she mentioned there. So it's clean, it's easy. It makes life easy for both sides of these parties in this, this uh, conversation here. So the third and final example I want to show you guys today is an introduction. I'm sure a lot of you guys deal with new leads, referrals, the new people that come to your business every day. And we talk about how, how powerful video can be in general in that sense, because it really differentiates you from anybody else around. But what's really cool, this is Jazz. Jazz actually is one of our BDRs, our SDRs here at BombBomb. So she's reaching out to a lot of the new leads that are coming into BombBomb every day. And she's gotten really creative. What she decided to do is actually build a form where she can get to know these people more, right? I'm sure you guys, if you get any online leads or anything, you might get their name, their email, their phone number, and maybe something else but there's not a lot of information in that, right? So what if you were able to send them something a little bit deeper, link it in a CTA on the video itself, it really creates a wow factor of something different, you're differentiating. It helps deepen that interest, it helps let this person know that you wanna to get to know them more. You wanna to get to know what their biggest interests are. So let's go ahead and watch hers so you can kind of see how she delivers that. Hi there, Jasmine here with Bomb Bomb Video. I am reaching out to you because you submitted a demo request form with us, and my job here is to get to know you a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I will leave a link to a form down below in this video. You should see at the bottom, it'll say click here to fill out my form. Take a moment, fill it out if you don't mind. Um, it would also be useful if you let me know a good day and time um, that would work well to get you on the calendar. Include your time zone, please. Um, and yeah, we are so excited um, to meet Meet with you and even more grateful for your interest in bomb bomb um, let me know how else I can help and I will look forward to connecting thanks bye I mean one thing you probably noticed watching all of these videos they're all under a minute long yep. I mean that's something we talk about all the time we get questions about time constantly but they're all short and sweet and they all reference the link so I think that's really a best practice is to tell people about the link below don't assume that they're gonna see that and know what to do with it right yep. mention that let them know why that link is there as well, which I absolutely love. Yep, great stuff. I'll and even click on this just to show you guys this form so you can kind of see a little bit of what it led to. So there's so many different things you guys can do with that for sure. Absolutely, and someone just commented on it in chat too, what great enthusiasm and a big smile. No, seriously, that is, you know, you wanna talk about using emotion to get people to take that next step. That's the point of your video right? Mm -hmm. To be, to be an engaging human being, to connect with them as a human so that they want to take that next step in your call to action. Great, great yep. job. Love it. Yep. One thing too, I think, and I've seen this come up a lot. I, I remember Terry mentioned this a long time ago in chat, but keep them simple. Don't over or complicate your CTAs. This is something that I had to learn of when I would do a lot of emails and videos early on with BombBomb, Bomb, I would say, great, so can't wait back to hear from you. You know, just call me, email me, text me, just you know, let me know what I can do to help. That is so confusing to the person, right? So keep it really simple. Um, Jazz even had two things, but she was really clear with them. Hey, click here to fill out the form and let me know when, be, when would be a good time for us to meet. Oh. It's very clear. We want their expectations to be exactly the same as what we're expecting from them. So yeah. it just keep that really, really clear. I think that's a really important piece. As and I've seen about. some comments and questions about it in chat. People are wondering about multiple CTAs on the same video. You can only to put one CTA on the video. However, because you're sending an email, you do have the ability to you know, if you had other actions you wanted them to take, you could put that in the email. But I'm going to tell you right now that more than one actionable step per message is going to confuse your message. Just like Kevin said, 
you want to bite size, have them take that next step. And then once they've completed that next step, great. Maybe take them through that next step as well. But you don't want to clutter an entire email with lots of things for them to do because the likelihood that they're going to do any of them drops tremendously. So if you want them to schedule that appointment, great. One strong CTA, and then you can work through whatever that next step is after that. Yep. Yeah. Pick the most important thing and put that on the video because that's yep. going to be the primary one you want them to see. You know, I even just thought of another example that I've received internally. Um, I've seen some really fun videos that are just fun with the CTA of like a happy birthday and they link a video to just, or they link a silly video or something like that in the CTAs. Totally. So get creative with these, have fun with these. You don't have to be locked into just calendar links and those and contract links and forms. No, have fun with them. It's, it's impossible to miss them when you're actually watching these. I've seen a couple of chats here of, is this being recorded? Absolutely, we record all of our webinars for you guys and you'll all receive this recording and a follow-up email. So don't worry about that. In the next day or two, you'll get that. If you've missed any parts of this or want to rewatch any parts of this, um, you'll get that email or you can always go to bombbomb.com slash webinar and we put all of our recordings up there of past webinars too. So that way you've gotten access to rewatch any of those. Love it. Well, awesome. So what do we want you guys to do with this information? What are kind of the closing thoughts on CTAs here? And it looks like we might actually get done a little bit early for you guys today, which is awesome. We always, we don't want to just talk for an hour just to talk for an hour. We want to value your, your, your time and, and energy as well. So what I want you to think about is what is an email that you are sending right now that's not getting the engagement or the follow through that you were hoping for? And I know we all have them. We all have situations where we're sending this email out a lot and it just doesn't get the responses that I want. Maybe that's new leads. Maybe it's I'm following up with past clients. You know, it could be so many different things. If you're a salesperson, cold lead, yeah. it could be whatever, right? Uh, if you own like a little mom and pop shop, if you own a sales store or something like that, maybe they're not jumping on these fun little discounts and things that you're giving throughout the day or throughout the month, whatever it may be. Think about what you're sending out that you're just a little disappointed in what the reaction rates have been. And I want you to record a video for those and add a video CTA. Mm -hmm. And I think you will be so pleasantly surprised at how much more activity there is through that interaction versus just, you know, a standard text email with some links and things that they can click on. If you make this engaging, if you keep it simple, if you make it really clean, they cannot help but follow through on those sort of things. So yeah, I see a couple of other different things coming in here, right? The monthly sphere video. Um, some yeah. of those sort of things. So love these ideas. I, there's, please do not feel handcuffed by the ideas we've said today. These are more just to get your brain working so you can see how this works in real life. If you've got other ideas, if you've got different things like that, please use them. Um, you guys know your businesses so well and know the spots that these can fit in. Yeah. So. So that's kind of what we want to focus on. We definitely want to leave some space to go through the Q&A and make sure we're covering everything here on chat. But real quick before we do, just a quick reminder. I know we touched on the deep dive and the client webinars early on in this. Just a reminder, guess what? We'll be doing these again next month too. Yep. So keep your eyes open at the beginning of the month um, for that deep dive email. You should get that coming. It's usually within the first couple of days of the month. And then our client webinars are usually on the third Tuesday of the month, barring any weird holidays or weird situations like that. We always do these on a Tuesday at this time. So definitely keep your eyes open for that as well, because we love having you guys here. Like Alicia and I said, these are like our favorite things to do. So, um, so Alicia, gonna, have you had a chance to look through? I have. I've been looking at these questions and I'm going to jump in and answer some of them. Um, okay. The first one, uh, someone wanted to know about my lighting. Um, they said, not CTA related, but the lighting is fantastic. So there's two things happening here with my lighting. Number one, I have windows, big like picture windows right out there. But interestingly enough, um, just the outside lighting actually seems to like blow out the lighting on the camera. So I actually also have a lamp here, but here's the key with the lamp. Okay. I don't have the lamp shining on my face. I have the lamp shining on the wall so that the light is reflecting off of the wall. And I do this in my regular office at bomb bomb as well. So, um, I have two things working in my favor. I have natural light, but then also the desk lamp that is reflecting light off of the wall onto my face. So there you go, Susan, some quick lighting tips there. <laughs> so there's two questions that are basically asking the same thing. And they're asking about 
files or a document, how can you make that part of your CTA like you would an attachment? So inside of your BombBomb account, when you go to your emails tab, you have an option up in the right hand corner to add files. When you upload a file into BombBomb, whether it's a contract or a document or a PDF or anything like that, it's going to get its own web hosted link, okay? This is the main difference between an attachment that someone has to download onto their own computer to be able to see, which especially if it's a client or a new client, you may not have them, if you don't have a well-established trust relationship, the likelihood that they're going to download something is not very high. But when it's web hosted like that, once you've uploaded that document or the PDF into BombBomb and it's web hosted on a file, when you're building your CTA, you're just gonna grab the link that we gave you for that file and it's sitting right inside of your BombBomb account and you'll add that as the link to the CTA. So um, we have support articles on adding CTAs as well as we have support articles on how to upload a document into BombBomb, how to upload a PDF. So if you go to our support site, we always wanna encourage you support dot bomb bomb dot com and you can search these things top topically you could search how do i um, upload a pdf and it'll bring you a support article okay um, so yes you're going to want to upload that file into your bomb bomb account so it can be web hosted and then you can link it to the cta yeah i've seen a bunch of those questions so i'm super glad you were able to kind of touch on that here uh, alicia the other one that i keep seeing a lot is can I tell if a CTA has been opened or if it's been clicked? Um, one way to have a decent idea of that is did they watch the video, right? Have they watched the video? That's gonna give you an idea if they actually saw that. As of right this second, we don't have our tracking on the CTA click at this moment. Um, I know it's something that we're working on. So that'll be a really exciting thing when that does come out. That's gonna give us a ton of a valuable information, right? Again, Dan, I've seen some of your your stuff in the chat going, great, I'll be able to get her admit she's ignoring me kind of thing. <laughs> I love that, right? We, with, that's what that tracking really helps with is knowing how people are interacting with it. Um, at this moment though, we don't have the tracking on the CTA specifically, um, but I know that is being discussed and is being worked on for sure. Man, Dan, you really struggle with your mom. I wish that there was more we could do to help. <laughs> in the comedic relief in our chat today. I love it. Um, another quick question that I saw here in the Q&A was about getting people uh, to open the video or to actually play the video. And, you know, this is a question that we do get from time to time where it, I understand it's frustrating. In fact, to have spent the time making a video and not getting people to open it. And we have done training on this um, previously. And Michelle, if you wanna throw your email address here into the Q&A, um, I will see if I can find a recorded version of um, one of these webinars that we've done before. But we've done sessions on guaranteed ways to get your video played. And some of the few tips that I can offer you right now is number one, the subject line, okay? Putting that there is a video in the subject line actually increases the likelihood that they're going to press play on the video. So that's one of them. Um, number two, you wanna make sure that you're not sending just a video. You wanna make sure that you are including text with that video to actually drive them to play the video. Something along the effect of, hi, Michelle, press play on the quick video I recorded for you with the answer to your question, right? Or whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you're using verbiage to encourage them to play the video. And then the third tip is use that video thumbnail as a way to capture their attention. You know, we train with the whiteboard, either, oh, my whiteboard is a little bit messy right now because it's gotten, but hi, Larry and Jim, right? Putting someone's name on the whiteboard so that as soon as they open that email and they see the video, if they see their name or something else on that whiteboard, it's a great way to drive them to play it. So we have lots of resources and training on things that you can do to help drive the video play. Um, I see you through your email address in there. I'm going to copy it right now um, and see if I, if I can find any recorded versions of that. 
Um, but that's a really, it's a valid question. And we do want to make sure that your videos are actually getting played because that's, that's the win. Yeah. And one thing too, that I want to expand on that, that that's kind of exciting as well. This has nothing to do with our CTAs right now, but for those of you that keep, I've seen a lot of questions about how can we get walkthroughs? How can we get tutorials on different things as well? Um, if you go to your bomb bomb dashboard in your web app, we actually just adjusted a link on there in the bottom left. It's gray text that says explore the bomb bomb Academy. There's actually an entire course in there now on how to improve your email clicks, your video plays, um, your link clicks, your email opens, all of those sort of things. The Bomb Mom Academy is a great resource. You'll have to stare at my face a lot, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's really great because we actually do in-depth courses on a lot of these topics you guys are asking about, and we're constantly iterating and adding things to it. So take a look at that. If you're in your account on the dashboard, it's at the bottom left, it says Explore Bomb Bomb Academy. Click on that and you'll be able to see all the different courses and those sort of things. I think it'll answer, honestly, a lot of the questions that I'm seeing come up here, have different courses, or I did put the link to our support site in the chat as well. So you can kind of take a look at that sort of stuff. Um, um, I'm going to ask yeah, about previous recordings. So um, here's the thing. All of our customer webinars go on bombbomb.com forward slash webinar. If someone wants to throw that in the chat window there so people can copy it. Um, you can go view all of our past recordings and our monthly customer webinars are all just like this. They are focused on training for things like, you know, lead conversion or nurturing your database or actual product demos like this. And we did a webinar on working through your fear of video and all of that. So if you go to bombbomb.com forward slash webinar, you can find all of our previous recorded webinars um, there. So really, really great resource. Well, I'm looking through all of this, Alicia. I think we've answered a lot of the CTA related stuff today. And I know there's some other questions floating out there for kind of other things like that. Um, we try to stay really focused on this, like Alicia was just saying there. So we, we, we don't want to get on too many different rabbit trails of those sort of things. But uh, we really appreciate you guys coming to these. Um, Alicia and I, we say this every time, but these are literally our favorite things to do. We love talking with you guys, hearing about what's working for you guys, hearing about how we can help and give you more information. But keep some of those resources in mind, bombbomb.com slash webinar. That's where you can find any recording of any past webinars. And we have covered a lot of features in the last four or five months here. So go take a look on that. If you have any questions or you're having any issues, go to support dot bomb bomb dot com there's tons of walkthrough videos you can type in and search for anything you need there there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles and videos there that you can find as well and yep. as always on that support site as well there's live chat you can get a real person on the phone we are huge in not just sending you to a computer and having you struggle through that process if you're having trouble let us know we always want to make sure we've got live people that are literally waiting for you to call or to chat in so that they can help you work through the issues or, or help solve the problems that you guys are having. So um, thank you guys. We're going to get out a little bit thank early today, you. but man, we appreciate it. We appreciate all of the fun chats. This is one of the more fun chat sections I've been watching yeah. in a long time on these. Um, right. But thank you guys for partnering with us here at Bomb Mom. We just absolutely love working with you guys and uh, we can't wait to see you next month. Yeah. Last thing guys, if you are not a customer, because we have a lot of non-customers that show up to our webinars, if you are not a customer yet and you um, are interested in giving this a go, sign up for a free trial. We offer you a 14 day free trial. There's no credit card required. Um, and the best part of our free trial is that you get a one-on-one -on -one session with someone at bomb bomb and they're going to help you set up your um any of your connected things like for example if you want your chrome extension great they'll help you set that up or um if you've got a crm that's integrated they'll help you with that they're going to answer your questions they're going to set you up with some actionable items to make sure that your first two weeks in video are successful so Michelle just threw the link there, bombbomb.com forward slash trial to give that 14 days a free try. Uh, the last comment I just saw said their support is awesome. That makes my day. So <laughs> thank you guys so, so much. Uh, go add, go do a CTA for a video that you're not getting great responses for. Re-record it, throw that CTA in there, let us know how it works, and we'll see you guys next month.
Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day today. Bye-bye.